Will the UK rejoin the EU? Since Brexit, the question of whether the UK might rejoin the European Union remains a recurring and divisive issue. While some Britons support rejoining the EU, others are firmly opposed and a small percentage remain indifferent. Based on statements from major UK political players, no definitive answer exists. This video explores the possibility of the UK returning to the EU. The basics of Brexit Brexit, short for British exit, refers to the UK's withdrawal from the European Union. Following a referendum on June 23, 2016, the UK officially left the EU on January 31, 2020, becoming the first sovereign nation to do so since joining on January 1, 1973. The Brexit process from the referendum to formal exit spanned nearly four years. Prime Minister Theresa May triggered Article 50 on March 29, 2017, which began formal negotiations on the UK's departure. These negotiations established a new UK-EU relationship and were followed by several political hurdles. Later, Prime Minister Boris Johnson secured parliamentary support to finalise the withdrawal agreement, which received royal assent on January 23, 2020 transition and departure after formally leaving on January 31, 2020, the UK entered a transition period that lasted until December 31, 2020. During this time, the UK and EU negotiated the EU-UK Trade and Cooperation Agreement, signed on December 24, 2020, and formally adopted on December 30. Key factors in Brexit included concerns over sovereignty, immigration, trade, and the financial costs of EU membership. The process revealed stark divisions within the UK, with Scotland and Northern Ireland showing higher support for EU membership, while rural areas and older voters largely supported leaving. Political party stance both the Conservative and Labour parties have expressed consistent positions against rejoining the EU. Under Prime Minister Keir Starmer, Labour has treated Brexit as a finalised decision and seeks to improve trade conditions to support industries such as agriculture. The Conservatives, including leaders Boris Johnson and Rishi Sunak, have focused on leveraging Brexit's opportunities, such as new international trade agreements, infrastructure projects, and adjustments to EU regulations for UK-specific benefits. This includes flexibility with VAT, reclaiming British waters for the fishing industry and gaining regulatory control. Concluding thought with major parties prioritising a post-Brexit future, will there ever be a shift in public opinion strong enough to drive a movement to rejoin the EU? Only time will tell.